y'all, it's Haven. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Haven and I am a second grade teacher in Oklahoma. So this is classroom setup day six. We have got so much done in the last five days, but I'm really excited um because now like everything's pretty much put together i basically just need to like do my bulletin boards like i still have a lot to laminate i need to put up my classroom job display i need to put up my birthday display and i just have to like organize a bunch of stuff so i've decided you know how i have these two bulletin boards in the front of my room well this one's going to be like reading and like literacy stuff because it's in the reading corner and I think it just makes sense. I also like that bulletin board because it's not like hidden. And then for this bulletin board, you can see it's like hidden a little bit. There's a lot of cluster over here. So I was going to make this a math bulletin board, but I just don't think it makes sense because I don't I don't want it to be hard to see or anything. I don't know. So I'm just going to make this like my objectives, I think. So we're gonna make an objective bulletin board out of that. And then this is my banner that says objectives and I got a reading one and a math one. So for my math bulletin board, I'm probably gonna do it over here and I'll have to make like a makeshift one out of contact paper, which I got more of today. And it's actually really expensive. It's $30 a piece. So I was like, it didn't even come with that much. It's like, what the heck? So. That's on the agenda today. Let's get started. For my objectives board, I am going, well, I already printed out the banner, like the heading that says objectives on it. And I cut it all out after I laminated it. And I'm basically just going to come over here on the floor and I'm gonna spell out objectives on the floor. And I'm gonna start with the middle letters going out so that I can get it centered. As a first year teacher, this would have bothered the heck out of me that I didn't have enough room <laughs> to fit the S and the O in the border. And honestly, it still is bothering the heck out of me, but I'm just gonna let it slide because you just gotta learn to let the little things go or you'll spend too much time on things that don't matter. So that's just how it's gonna go. Now I'm going to take these little clear pockets and I'm going to hang them using push pins through this little like circle that's there. Um, so you can see, I still have my object objectives in from the end of school last year. So stuff like, like I'll put headings above each one. So this one's, I can identify the main idea and the important details of a story. I can make predictions of what the story will be about and what might happen. And so obviously that's a reading strategy. So I'll put reading and I have math, science, social studies, writing, so I'm gonna put this up, I'll be back. Okay, so there's that. And um, now I need the headings. So I need to find those from last year. I'll have to go look. And I think I'm just gonna use the same ones because I think it goes with this theme. These were a rainbow and I don't want any of that in here anymore. So I found these that I just, had printed, so that's nice, but I only have two of them, so I need to go do the other headings so you can kind of see what it'll look like whenever it's done. Also for inspiration, I have reading, math, writing, science, social studies, and I do a class weekly goal. So if you were needing some inspo on that, that's how I do it. A little update on things I've done. I've kind of been slacking on documenting this process, but I just put my reading heading up. I made my cabinet my job display and I actually really like it. I still need to cover the rest of that <laughs> with contact paper, but I like it. You know, we love multi-purpose items, okay? So not only is it a snack and supply closet, but it's a bulletin board. You gotta make sh you gotta make do with what you have when you have like zero bulletin board space. So, also in my last video, I had my hand signals on this side, but now I have it on, on the bottom. So that's fun. Also, now I'm laminating like my birthday display. Still don't know where I'm gonna put. I think I'm gonna make that cabinet my birthday display. We'll see. All right. So a little update on some stuff that I've done. I have, oh, I hung up another tassel, like what I have on my smart board over here. 
I had another one, so I put it underneath my whiteboard. I thought that was cute. I cleared out these cubby thingies um, that had all my stem stuff that I need to organize. I just put it out on these tables so I can easily see what still needs to be done with that stuff. And um, I'm gonna order some bins for them on Amazon tonight. This stuff still needs to be taken by my principal. And as soon as that moves, I'm gonna move this over and I'm gonna make a math bulletin board right there. This stuff is just kind of like miscellaneous. Um, this is like a roll. I have two rolling carts that I need to put together. That's what these are. I also must put this over here. Try to make this look like less cluttered, but it's still kind of stressing me out. So I'm gonna have to find something to do there. I just don't have like a ton of like space over here. I don't know. Still trying to decide if I want curtains or not. Do I want curtains? I have no idea. But yeah, it's looking good. I'm just finishing up laminating. Um, I'm just like getting everything laminated now so that all I have to do when I get home is cut it. And then I'll bring it back Monday. I really don't have a lot of time to do anything next week. So this is kind of it until the teacher work day that we have scheduled before the kids come. Um, because Monday I have a doctor's appointment, I have therapy on and lunch with my mom on Tuesday. I'm getting my hairs done, but it's really coming together. It looks great. Hello everyone, welcome back. It is a couple days later from when I last saw you um, in the last clip, but we've got a lot to do today. So let's just get right into it. I need to, or I'm printing more headings for my objectives board. I only have math right now, but I printed a new one for that. I, well, actually I was here a couple days ago with my family, they were helping me. So there's some things that you haven't even seen done cause I wasn't gonna vlog while they were here. I wasn't gonna like take time out of their time to come here. So I'll show you what I've done actually. So this is where I'm gonna put wow work. Um, I just went to Hobby Lobby to get more cardstock because obviously I ran out, but I just put like scrapbook cardstock stuff up here and um, clothespins and I just put the work in front of it. So the cardstock is just like a colorful background and um, that stuff's not staying there. I'm gonna print out on my Cricut or cut out on my Cricut words that say wow work. The stem bin stuff is still everywhere because I don't have bins for it. I might use this for it. I don't know yet. Um, oh, I got my rolling cart all done look how cute i love the labels and like the colors of the labels and i just put like my toolbox and stuff on top for this my old rolling cart that i didn't like the colors of and that's why i got new ones i printed out labels um with names of supplies on them so this is going to be for my kids to go up and grab supplies if they need it so i got like one that says pencils, erasers, crayons, markers, all that kind of stuff. My stepdad helped me cover this in contact paper, my two cabinets, the front of them. I can't remember if I showed you guys last time, but I um, made this like a classroom jobs bulletin board. Also got my affirmations um, mirror hung up, love that. Fifth grade curriculum is still here, love that for me. Um, it's really stressing me out, but it's fine. I also covered this like random ugly part of my room in contact paper and this was hanging there, but it is not anymore, it fell off. So. Alrighty, so I sent those labels and stuff to the printer. So let's go get them. Um, I'm not gonna take you with me because there's a lot of people in there, but I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so something I just did was make a makeshift bulletin board. There's not an actual bulletin board there. I just like stapled paper up and put border on it and my heading, so I did math by my manipulatives. I think it looks really good. It's definitely crooked at the top, but I cannot redo it because that was a lot of work. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is make a birthday display out of this. I decided just to move these down so that I didn't have December down here, but I don't know if I love it, but I think it looks good. Teacher hack also, by the way, if you're laminating stuff in your personal laminator and you're getting tired of like waiting till one thing goes through and then to put the next page in, look at that. 
It's a lamination train. All I did was put a little piece of clear tape to connect each page and then it just feeds right through. I can't believe I never thought of that. How amazing is that? Love it. Also, I put some stuff on my math bulletin board. Woohoo! Okay, so this rolly cart still has a lot in it from me moving. I kind of just loaded them down, but I don't like the rainbow rolly cart, but I also don't want to get rid of it. So I'm basically, cause I have the clear ones now and I just like them better. So I'm going to use this as a supply cart for my kids. So I printed out my labels right here. You can see there's like scissors, notebook paper, and I'm going to put these on here and this will be like their little supply rolly cart. Ta-da! So now I'll go through, well, I'm not gonna do this today because look, it is like just full of stuff. So yeah, so I'm gonna go through and empty that probably tomorrow, but yep, that's their supply cart. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought these garlands of greenery. They were 50% off, which is fun. Um, I was envisioning like putting it up here on the shelf just to add like something up there. Um, as you can see, I'm putting wow work up there too. So hopefully it doesn't cover it, but we're gonna see. Okay, I've sucked up vlogging today. So let me just show you what I've done because I'm about to go home. Really, it's nothing big. So you know, this used to be my writing center table. I moved that from behind there because I didn't really like it being behind my chair anyways. And then I moved my writing center to here and I still need to clear all this off and move a lot of stuff. But then I put my writing posters. I got my objectives done, my objective board done. Put their supply cart there. I need to find a way to hide those wires. Math bulletin board. I'll show you how I put up bulletin boards like this when I do my sound wall over here. I put the greenery up there. I think it looks nice. Um, this is just all piled up for now. I put my stems up. I'm trying to clear these desks off so I can have a better vision of what this room's gonna look like. Then I put just my teacher desk in this random table here so that they'll take, I just put a note on it that says, please take it. <laughs> it's looking good. I don't know if I'm like really liking the dotted paper. I feel like it's starting to get kind of loud, but I don't know, we'll figure it out. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed day, I think six and seven of classroom setup. As always, leave a comment. Let me know you, what you want to see next. I hope you're enjoying these classroom setup videos and that they're helpful. As always, in the description also is my um, website where you can find all my links, other social platforms, discounts, all kinds of stuff. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and my channel. I love you guys. See you next time.